Attention all wing pilots, stand by to receive orders. In 1993, it was perfectly normal to own a gaming console, but arcades were still a popular way to spend some time with video games. And while Star Wars Arcade would launch for the Sega 32X in 94, you had to go to these arcades to experience it in its first year of release. The gameplay was similar to that of Atari's 1983 Star Wars Arcade game. Players could pilot an X-Wing or Y-Wing in first or third person perspective and battle Imperial forces. The game consisted of three levels, which include intercepting TIE fighters in an asteroid field, destroying a Super Star Destroyer and making an assault run on the Death Star. While it wasn't anything players never experienced before, the arcade cabinet allowed two players to play, with one serving as a pilot and the other as a gunner. Look as far as the attack positions. Ray standing by. This introduced a bit of teamwork to create a new aspect in missions that were identical to loads of games that came before. Star Wars Arcade never became a hit. Not in the arcade and not on the Sega 32X. Sega went back to the drawing board to come up with something much, much better.